Is there a better excuse for spending a ton of money on books than the fact that we're in a quarantine? Hey guys, my name is Miranda and welcome to my universe. I went to Barnes and Noble yesterday, okay? <laughs> and um, I bought myself a book. Technically 12 books. Okay, but they're all in one. So like it's one book. <laughs> it's Death Note. I bought myself Death Note. It came in this fancy box. It's the all-in-one edition. And um, it looks like this. Over 2,000 pages. <laughs> I started it. I finished chapter one. But I decided that I wanted to take you guys on this journey with me. So here we are. Vlog one of me reading the entire series Death Note. <laughs> now, for those of you who do not know what Death Note is, it is actually a manga. That is why it appears backwards. It looks like I'm holding it backwards, but really this is the front cover. And you read it like so. I have a video on my channel where I read manga for the first time. So if you wanna go check that out, you can do that. I loved the first manga I read. So um, bought an entire series because that's how my mind works. Anyways, let's first talk about what Death Note is about, okay? <laughs> we have our main character, his name is Light, which I think is kind of funny in the midst of like Death Note. It's like all dark and gloomy and his name is Light. Okay, anyway, moving on. <laughs> he finds this notebook on the ground and turns out it is a notebook from a different world. It was dropped by a Shinigami, which is a death god. And basically what the notebook is used for is any person's name who was written in the notebook, they are going to die within 40 seconds. So when Light finds this notebook, this death note, that's what it's called. Yeah, you get it, okay. <laughs> Light gets visited by the Shinugami who dropped the death note because there are multiple of these death gods apparently. Okay, don't know how this works. <laughs> this one in particular is named Ryuk? Ryuk? He gets a visit from him and he basically tells him like, this death note, now that I dropped it in the human realm, it now belongs to the human realm. He cannot take it back. So now technically this death note is Light's to keep unless he wants to give it to somebody else. But because Light is so smart and intelligent, he already wrote names in the death note by the time he gets visited by Ryuk. I'm probably just gonna call him that. So Ryuk is like, okay, well, now that you've written in my death note, you are the only person who can see me. So everybody else doesn't see this death god just like hanging out and chilling. He's pretty funny looking. Let me find you. Like that's him. This is this guy. Kind of really like him. Kind of like the fact that he is always smiling even though he's a death god. Okay, there's so much irony in this. I kind of like the whole concept. Kind of am terrified of it because Light now thinks that he can turn the world into a place full of peace, a place with zero crime, kind of make it like a utopia, but the fact is that he's human and his definition of a utopia is different from every other person's definition. So I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I mean, there literally are 12 volumes of this, so plenty of things can change, but I'm excited. Let's go on this journey, shall we? I think I just made it worse, whoops. All right, so. Um, I finished the first book of the 12 and I have to say I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> I found out that this Death Note has a lot more rules to it than I originally thought. So basically anybody who touches it can see Ryuk. So if Light's younger sister was to stumble upon the notebook and touch it, even for like a split second, she would see the Death God hovering in the room right next to her. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> but Light is using this notebook basically as a way to rid the world of evil and he believes that he's gonna be this almighty God. Like I get he's doing it out of the kindness of his heart and he wants to stop everybody, but you're, you're killing them. Another huge part of this book is the fact that Light's father is 
the chief of police. He's like the head investigator who is taking on all of the cases as to why all of these people are mysteriously dying and all of the people that are dying are criminals in prison that like d they deserve in light's eyes the death penalty so he ends up killing them but there are so many that happen in a certain day that everybody starts getting suspicious and there actually is this other detective who he gives me a lot of Sherlock Holmes Holmes vibes because his name is L. He solves mysteries super fast. Like he figures out things. He he gets to the root of the issue. But the thing with him is that nobody has ever seen his face and nobody knows his real name. So therefore, Light, he cannot write this guy's name in the book. Basically, he can't he can't kill off this crazy detective guy. And his father is the head investigator. So that kind of gives him an, a one-up in the system because he knows how to hack into his father's computer in order to actually like get information on more of the villains and more of the criminals so he can kill them too. It's so crazy. It's really cool. I like the vibes. I think my favorite character as of now is actually like the death god. I love him so much. Like he's so humorous. And he only has one expression. So like no matter what he's talking about, no matter what he's saying, whether he's happy, sad, angry, whatever, like he shows no emotion. I don't know, I love him. Okay, so let's talk about this book, shall we? Because it's kind of driving me crazy. <laughs> so there's a lot I have to catch you guys up on just because I'm now on the third book. I'm specifically on chapter 19, for those of you who know the different chapters and know what happens, I don't know. Okay, so basically what, what? <laughs> basically what's happening is the public is calling Light Kira, okay? Because obviously they don't know who is killing all of these criminals, so they have to give him a name. So they name him Kira, that's his new name, and they have a, um, a group of special agents that are on Kira's case and one of those agents is his father but L who is that the secret agent dude I was telling you guys about who like he's super super secret like nobody knows who he looks like kind of like the Sherlock Holmes dude um, he actually revealed his face to the secret agents that are on Kira's case I don't know if I should call him Kira or Light because like we know he's the same person. <sighs> Anyways, so now they all know who he looks like and I now know what he looks like, which he is like so creepy. <laughs> like, let me just tell you right now. Last night I was dying while I was reading it because literally he never sits normal, ever. <laughs> now I'll admit like, it's his eyes that are the creepiest in my opinion. He looks like he hasn't gotten sleep in ages or he looks like he's on hard drugs, either or. So yeah, he's kind of wild and kind of crazy, um, but I kind of like him. <laughs> he's like super eccentric. Where did my book go? Hold on. Long story short, Elle finds out that Light's family could possibly have Kira amongst them. So they set up special like secret cameras <laughs> in the entire house to try to see who Kira could be. And so Light finds out about the cameras just because he has the freaking death god who looks around everywhere. And Ryuk's kind of like, okay, this is where this camera is, this is where this camera is. And they find out where all the cameras are. So Light actually acts normal and he acts like he isn't the person who's killing all of these people. But in reality, he is still using the death note because he knows if he stopped using it, it would be very suspicious because then the agents would be like, okay, ever since we set up the cameras, nobody has died. So he would do it really, really secretively. And this guy is so smart. First of all, Light literally thinks of the craziest ways to hide the notebook, to take, he takes pages out and like carries, them around with him so he can write stuff on the pages because it still works even if the pages aren't in the notebook. Like, I would have never found that out 
if I have this notebook in my hands, you know what I'm saying? Like he just thinks of so many creative ways that he can still use the death note even though he has all these detectives hot on his trail. And he does it super secretively, so they end up taking out all of the cameras because they're like, he's not suspicious at all. Nobody in your family is suspicious, so let's just take all these cameras down. And so I, I'm just, my mind is so blown right now. <laughs> what I just finished reading right now is, um, Light took this college entrance exam, and it just so happens that L is also taking the exam too. That's L, okay, and then this is Light, okay? So those are those two, and they're both taking the same exam. But only L knows of Light. He knows Light, but he doesn't know that Light is Kira. But obviously light doesn't know who l is so he's just kind of like why is this guy staring into my soul like <laughs> what's going on but ah oh, it's just driving me crazy because i wish i wish he would just find out who l is but then at the same time like i don't want him to kill him off because that's the conflict that's the main conflict in this story okay but can we just talk about the fact that nayuk is obsessed with apples Okay, he's obsessed with apples. Literally told Light, he's like, okay, dude, I have to have apples because they're like a drug to me. They're literally like a drug to me. And if I don't have them, then I will go insane. And he's like, my body twists up if I don't have apples. So literally, look at this. His body is like contortioned. And he's literally like, yeah, I just, I need apples, man. I just need apples. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish I was obsessed with apples as much as Nayuk is. I got a haircut. Just a trim. I didn't chop everything off. That would be horrible. <laughs> okay, so I am almost done with the third book of Death Note. And I just want to talk about how much L and Light overthink. Okay? <laughs> now that they go to the same school, they're kind of hanging out because they... Are kind of suspicious of each other they want to find out more about each other and light actually knows that l is l now because he literally told him that he's l he gave away his identity except not really because light still doesn't know his full name so he can't kill him off so they're playing this game of tennis and afterwards they're talking to each other and literally the entire time they're talking they're like being super honest well at least l is he's just like yo dude listen i think you might be kira and i just need to make sure that you for real aren't killing off these people but the entire time you get to see what they're thinking so like light is just overthinking oh my gosh what if i say this wrong what if i say this what is he expecting me to say if i say the wrong thing then that could possibly prove that i am kira but if i say this then he could also think that i'm trying to get him off my trail and like literally and that's the same way that l is thinking too he's like wow if he's saying this then that means this and this and i just my brain hurts <laughs> but it's so funny because like i'm exactly the same especially if I'm really competitive. Like in chess, oh my gosh, I think that way all the time. Then at the end of their conversation or towards the end of their conversation, both of them get a phone call and basically it's that Light's father had a heart attack, which is exactly how everybody else dies. That's like Kira's signature move. He kills people via heart attacks most of the time. And so like both of them just kind of were shook that's a good word <laughs> i thought that, that was funny i enjoyed it i'm enjoying this way too much <laughs> there is a second death note another shinigami has entered the human world and dropped their death note and now this girl she has the death note <laughs> and she broadcasted a huge thing all over the news pretending like she was Kira even though technically she's not because Kira is light but now she's pretending to be Kira also because she has the power this took a total turn I am I'm here for it though <laughs> now with all that being said I am on chapter 26 
which is the first chapter of the fourth book. Oh my gosh, I can't with this story. So with all that being said, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. So thank you guys for actually following along with me as I'm reading the first part of the Death Note. Um, I'm guessing that there's going to end up being four vlogs altogether. Of course, that could change, but this one covered the first three books, so I'm just going to assume that every vlog will cover three books, and because there's 12 of them, math, you know. <laughs> anyway, I love you all so, so much. Please be safe, make good choices, and I will definitely see you next time. Bye!